What's up, y'all? We back, man. SCA. The red car is gone. I ain't do too much recording on that, but I'ma uh, put put a video together and post it. But this is about to be the new series. We got a commercial location. Nice, small, it ain't all that. Good enough for me. It is do, all of that. He only just do one big car and one fast car. That's it. I don't never do more than that no more. Besides my personal stuff. Right? So this is what we gonna do when we start like working. I, I made a whole list of how we gonna do it. So we going outside, inside, upper, then lower, and then uh, electrical. And I'm ready to work at that point. So, all right, first, we gotta get all this out. So I'm bringing the dump trailer here tomorrow. They usually have, there's been a lot of evictions over here, a lot of uh, clean outs. It's a, it's a, uh, a game or something going on right down the street. But uh, I gotta get all this out. They usually have trash bins around here. I thought they was getting this out. They was getting it out, right? So this is the thing. I can move in soon as it's out if I want to, or I can wait till the first. It's the ninth. So if I get all this out, get it clean, I got uh, to the first and now it's free. All right, so. Yeah, first thing you do is getting all this out, all these rotors, all kind of parts. So when I get all this out, it's gonna be empty, right? I see you need some oil. That's some kind of chemical. All that stuff gotta be properly disposed of. So I'll make sure I just sit it outside uh, so I don't knock it over or anything because I ain't trying to stain the concrete no more. Um, word says that a legend was here building motors about three, four years ago. So it's another legend here now. <laughs> but uh okay so we starting once this all out we going outside i'll see the row of weeds getting the weeds knocking them boys down uh spraying the killer weed killer y'all can see the asphalt and all the oil stains we're gonna reseal just my portion probably go out about 10 and no not 10 it's a car length it's probably about a car lift about 20 we'll probably go about 30 feet down and then just in front of what i got and clean up all the stuff I, I like the outside clean, I like my inside clean. So I'm coming here, painting the walls. We're gonna pressure wash it first, paint spray on the walls. Move the wall. Pressure wash, pressure wash. Then uh, let it dry. I ain't really too spectacular. You ain't gotta be nothing crazy. Get a squeegee, uh, all the water come down. We're gonna use that to clean the floor. Boom, 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 boom. Love, help your sister with the phone. Yeah, so once the wall's clean, we're gonna go on here, like I said, we're gonna spray them. Spray them, spray them, All right, then wall's clean, painted. We coming with a, a, a diamond grit with the floor uh, buffer. And we gonna grind this whole top layer of the concrete, get it clean as we can, after squeegeeing and getting all this uh, overspray primer. It's all kind of stuff on the floor, all kind of stains. We're gonna get it clean as we can. We're gonna grind this for a couple of hours. Flow get cleaned up. We're gonna mop it, mineral spirits, it, acid, get all the, as much as we can. The sealer that I was gonna put in the shop at home, we're gonna bring it over here and use it. Cause now I want a, I want a great coating on the garage floor in the shop. And on the garage floor, in the house, and in the garage floor in the shop, I want a great floor. So this, I could just clean it and seal it. I want to be able to mop. After any mechanical work, any speeds, I want to be able to just mop it. You ain't mopping this. If you is, you ain't coming out clean. So, once the floor is clean, the wall is clean, we're moving on into the office. No, we we still gonna be out here. So this gotta get upgraded. I think this is a uh, 50 amp. I don't know. I know 100 amp got more circuit breakers than this. I need to add. I don't know what this 30 go to, but I'm looking, I got a 30 and a 50, and it's like to get a hot water heater, which I ain't see, and four and a six to a sub panel, which I don't even see no other sub panel, so maybe they didn't tie some stuff together or something, something I don't know. But uh, I'm definitely getting this upgraded to 150, I guess, if it's 100. Um, I need a 30 or 40, in addition to what's right here, I need a 30 or 40 and another 30. So CNC, back in for the CNC, then the air compressor. And then all these plugs, I wanna make sure they all operational. All these plugs on the wall. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's some kind of pool. There's a lot of plugs in here. Yeah. 
Plug, 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 plug. Nothing. I'm y'all the bathroom. It's bathroom trash. We're going to be cleaned up. It's a nice size bathroom. Yeah, you put a shower in this boy. That's what I'm going to do. It's cleaner than a lot of the bathrooms at the shops. But I think the uh, toilet drain is above the concrete. So they put this wood base on there. So I know I can fit up. All my military people understand. You can fit a shower right here. <laughs> this is enough to wash up. The tower rack or something, clean off. Yeah, I'ma design there. everything, y'all. So I don't think it's just gonna be what he's talking about. Cause I'm gonna make it real cute. The bathroom gonna yeah, be real cute. Here, so. All right, so CNC gonna go right here, and then some kind of router table set up. Gonna go over there. I gotta see which 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 orientation, landscape, or portrait for the CNC, whatever. But another table that I'm gonna work on by hand, and then assembly table, and then. Uh, Buddy, put on Coco Melon. Hold on. Man, my phone been ringing all kind of dang day. All right, so we're going to move into the office. Look, here's one. Like I said, get all this out. Clean your clothes, hang these walls. But yeah, definitely get in the shower. We're going to have AC because it's small. But I'm still getting in the shower, man, because I don't like to smell myself. And I don't like to smell other people. Yeah. This is my personal office right here. This closet is coming down. This is like when you hang your clothes and stuff up. Uh, no, it is not coming down. I like the closet. Okay, sorry. I'll let you do your video. <laughs> Why did it go? This is uh, just in the way. So I was never going to take it down. So I've got my, my like desk. It. Probably like right here or something like that or right here. Make a bigger window so I can see what the hell going on. Big window. Uh, I don't know if I want the slider, it'd be a big piece of four by eight sheet of glass, some I don't know. But uh, definitely a big window. Uh, got some automation equipment on here and a sewing machine. That's really it. Automation equipment, sewing machine. Then some of the stuff. Uh, a couch as well. I wanted to put a couch oh, yeah, in yeah, here and a right TV here. in here. Maybe right here for the TV for the nah, kids. It's, it's concrete, so. So this one, so the couch will have to be here. So what I'm thinking is, cause I don't, I don't care what he's thinking. This, this, only thing that I'm really gonna put in here is climate control type stuff. Yeah. Can't get I mean, it could come down, yeah. I'm not hanging nothing in there, no, I'm not storing nothing in there. I don't got no closet at home in the shop. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, that's really just in the way, this really could be a spot. The sewing, for the sewing actually, yeah, because. could take the whole sewing machine. Yeah, literally. And then the desk. Then the, yeah, then the desk, then the uh, couch, and the TV. Yeah. I can do my editing, I can do uh, invoices, I can do research, yeah. uh, emails. Yeah. Uh, and then I can still, cause I'm so good. I'm then I can still be coming in here while I work yeah. and do my work at the desk and still be able to spend some time with my baby. <laughs> you know? We don't get a bigger window? Or, no. We just I like the small window. I don't think yeah, this. All right, just some nice little orientation area. We're gonna put some a frost tent or something right here. But uh, the ADT will be working, one meal and insurance, camera gonna What's be working. What's the frost tent? So basically, you can see them, but they can't see you. No, you can see that the light on, but you're gonna be able to see either way. I wanted, we need to get the glass where we can see them, but they can't see us. Yeah, the light, I mean, the dark out there, so you ain't gonna be able to see them at all. So if it's light outside and it's a what you talk about, you can see out. But if it's dark out, they can see the light on, but they can't see. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. We're gonna get you an open sign anyway, and, and a sign with your hours right there. I'm gonna have a damn camera right there anyway. I don't know. We gonna have a camera right here at this door. Oh yeah. This inside. One. I want cameras inside. It's a light right here too, but it ain't working right now. Oh. I'm definitely gonna get that that light on. It's just the bulb, or is it the outlet? I don't know, but I put my own lights out there. If I got to. Yeah. This is also going to be a little desk area for when people come and then they, you know, have any questions or like get trying to get some, um, what is it, whatever. Um, yeah, this will be. Where yeah, is this is where y'all come for y'all appointments. There's a lot of people that, yeah, I need to make an appointment. They already seen it. I'm just like, 
Okay. Or where y'all would like, when y'all picking up y'all car, y'all would come wait right here. This would be like the lobby area. I'm going to put, yeah, I'm acting like this my shop, but I'm going to put a desk here. I'm going to put like a, a chair here for like the way people that are waiting to get like their whatever price Nobody printed up. Yes, it's they, they, they have to get there for you, but you doing paperwork now, so uh, yeah, yeah. they, they have to wait on their receipt. Hey, it's contract for every car. So they contracts. are gonna have to wait. If your car is be can be done in one day, you still don't have a contract. Mm -hmm. Every vehicle gonna have a check in, and check out, so you can see that is what it is. So that's why we gonna get. I'm gonna get like two chairs here and here for the people that come, so they can sit, have a sit down, maybe put a little table right here with like some little refreshments for people to come, like water, with juice, you know, like maybe a little small fridge or something for like you know when people come in to wait, get their stuff printed out, a desk here. It's gonna be cute. We're gonna take this carpet up and make sure the carpet is yeah, cute. We're gonna put like some uh some vinyl, some vinyl sticky flow down. It yeah, it's gonna be cute. Something to be able to mock, sweep, and something that still look good. I'm gonna give him some cute signs up, like some little artwork up. It's gonna be real cute, y'all. I'm gonna put some of my stuff up here too. Well, I got my box building certificate. Mm -hmm. I got my, my my associates. I should go finish and get my bachelor's. I only got like six classes, but it's really just a waste of time because I'm not never working for nobody again. I don't think it's the entrepreneur world. I mean, I work so hard that it's gonna whatever you do, you can force it. So. I don't think I'm gonna work for nobody, so I just thought I'd give y'all a rundown of the new shop. Yeah, y'all, isn't it so cute? Tomorrow is Saturday, today's Friday night, man. So tomorrow, like I said, one day at a time coming over here. I ain't sitting up here the whole day, but I'm gonna do what I can Yeah. in those days. I still got my baby. And then I'm gonna be helping you. I'll get off early tomorrow so we can come back and then I ain't gotta work Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, I'm gonna be tired from lifting all that shit. So then I think I got this is trip. where you need that little machine you wanted so bad where right. to scoop up the stuff. Oh and yeah, the ski yeah. That's what it is. Exactly. You need it. No, I'm telling you. But yeah. we had it. You the one saw nah, that shit was broken. It was leaking and it needed way more work than I was going to put it. Well, yeah, this is cute. Yeah, um, I like it. Back the motherfucking trailer up in here. Mm hmm And just throw it on there. One trip. I, I'm guessing three trips max, but I'm going home deep. I mean, morning. I think you should wait till I get out so that I'll be able to help you. Or just no, do a little I'm, then I'm stop gonna do some and work listen. once I once you get back. Are you trying to you go ahead Sunday? Sunday for fresh yeah. wash the walls. Yeah, but Sunday I'm excited guys. And like the lighting is really cute. Hell no, this gotta be a little bit brighter. No, yeah, I'm saying like down. the fact that it has a lot of lights, that's cute because most people light. be like light, light. No, nah, this shit gonna be bright. We're gonna triple this light. Yeah. These got two lights. We doing LED lights like in the shop at home. Okay. They bright, bright. This ain't bad. We gonna get him. I'm gonna get him some nice stuff. It's gonna be cute, y'all. When y'all come in the shop, like most people shops be really ugly, but yeah, I'm gonna make <laughs> sure exactly. People be like loving their shops to look like this. This not gonna be him because I don't like that, and he not he hate being in filth. He ain't gonna. He not a dirty person at all. And filth and clutter is different things too. Exactly. I just hate being in filth. Like this. Is he strange. don't like dirty, but I'm gonna make sure I design it so it's gonna look like a full blown like. People gonna be like, dang, this shop is cute. You wouldn't expect a cute shop, but it's gonna be cute. Yeah, it's gonna be clean, nice, organized, man. Definitely, definitely getting uh, we getting like a three zone uh mini split. So that's. Big I nice. need the first car to drive in here to be my Chevelle. Oh uh, yeah, first car I already said it's seventy five. Don't vertical. I said my Chevelle. Oh uh, yeah, once I get that CNC, I just Chevelle go in. No, I'm just, just kidding. Yeah, I'm gonna do that front end off. And I'm gonna get your frame blasted. Babe, I just be messing with you. Don't worry about my stuff. You worry about your stuff. But like, look at this, y'all. It is so nice. He's talking about his little and all this other stuff. Like, this is a this is a very nice size. Is what he needs right now. Yeah, it's still crazy. just him. Yeah. Like he's you know trying to hire people. So right now it's just him. He don't need nothing crazy big. You only have something crazy big when you have multiple workers. He's still trying to build up his nah, employees. Nah, that's why I said this is it. It's small. It is small essentially. But it's good for what I'm trying to do. Exactly. That's my perfect for like, you. I would love to have way more space, but it costs a lot to heat it, cool it, to secure it. Yeah, uh, but you don't need all of that anyway. You start sticking more stuff in it. But, uh, this I, I'm know. just hoping yeah, like the neighbors are cool and they're like chill. chill. All these folks say they moving out. <laughs> because like, it's too high. They they. I mean, when you coming from paying $900 to $1,250. 
That's crazy. Of course you're going to move out. But at, then at the same time, they need to do their research before they do because they ain't going to find no nowhere else getting right, that cheap. Still, this is the reason because it's the ones that, the ones that are down the street a little bit smarter. That's what I'm saying. We haven't found nothing less than like, $1,500. So this is actually the cheapest we've found, to be completely honest. And only ten minutes away. And it exactly. So, but yeah, oh, I'm so proud of my baby. Y'all tell him congratulations in the comments. Tell him to stop being so humble. Tell him congratulations, and that this is a big deal. And yeah, stop something. using the word little something, something and small. Like it say nothing small about. Uh-uh. This is the same size as the one at home, actually. No, but that's nah, the one at home, really? It's a little bigger. Yeah, the one at home looks bigger. That's because it's skinnier. This is. Yeah, this got width to it, and plus it got like different walls and stuff, so it make it look. It make but it I look like small. this. Like I wish we had something like this at the home shop, like a oh, separate yeah, room. Three cars and all that works. Yeah, you. you would. I mean, the CNC machine alone it's could a be pop. a whole. Yeah, yeah could be a room. I ain't gonna cap. Man, I came over here about four times today. How are you man. gonna put that CNC? Put are you gonna put that in? Okay, and what are, what are their insurance policies? Oh yeah, I'm getting insurance before I move anything. Yeah. Cause baby, that machine was hammered. Insurance too much. ADT before I moved that. That that CNC was uh bands. Oh uh, yeah. Oh lord. It, yeah, the float over. It, if it wasn't stained up, I wouldn't care. But it's stained all over this thing. Like somebody changed the motor right here, <laughs> and, and, and then put a uh a tail shaft seal in the transmission. It's like big, stupid, long oil stain. So I just want to seal that up, get these weeds out the way. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna put me a lock on here tomorrow. But uh, yeah, man, y'all. What's up, baby? We better go. Y'all stay tuned, man. This, this definitely gonna be a quick uh, commercial location rebuild series. It's gonna be super cool. And why y'all over here? Did you tell them y'all he we in Atlanta now, but next year he could potentially be somewhere else? Oh yeah, I'm gonna sell this whole setup. So if y'all looking to book him, he might be in a whole nother state. Not even gonna lie to y'all. We got some big opportunities coming for the both of us. So we just going where. Where it take us?